Hello there, Geminis. So the big message that I am sensing um, here is, first of all, they say that, you know, you can't really take care of other people until you can take care of yourself. And I feel like this is such a strong, powerful message for everybody, but I feel like it's coming out so early for you guys. And then I'm also seeing some, some images of what's happening and why this is coming out. Um, I see for many of you a need to let go of old habits. So this is like smoking, drinking, um, you know, things that are unhealthy for you so that you can do some major detoxing and cleansing of your internal system. Okay. So this is kind of like flood, f flushing out all the toxins that have accumulated, you know, over time from your body. So I feel like it's, it's cleansing, physical healing. Um, I'm also sensing as well, many of you, the housing situation is getting messy. So for example, um, it's weird, but I see a lot of pet hair. So you might have cats, dogs, animals that you take in. And many of you have really, really good hearts. You know, you don't like to see other people suffer. So for example, um, for example, you might like uh, take in animals from the shelter, right? And you're just like, oh, the more the merrier. So you take on a lot of animals from, from rescue places, from adoptions, and then they kind of like run your house to the ground. There's like too much energy. You can't keep up with it. So the energy is you can't take care of others until you take care of yourself. If you feel like, okay, I'm taking in all of these pets because you don't want to be alone, that's a problem. And so taking in these animals, it's great. It's a noble deed. But if it's because you don't want to be alone, it's going to pose a problem. Okay, so I do see that element of needing to clean up, vacuum, uh, open the window so you get more fresh air and, you know, cleaning up the dust and the hair and all of the debris that accumulate in your physical household so you know airing things out cleaning them doing some deep carpet cleaning for example that's going to be very crucial others of you i see this element as well about being a little bit distracted in the household uh, feeling like things are piling up feeling like things are too clutter and wanting to get away wanting to just like oh i just want to move house i don't want to clean up i just want to move so you you feel like getting all your physical things together and then changing location that's what you want because you don't want to deal with you know having to scrub the floor having to get people come in and do it for you so it's like a quick fix but it doesn't really address the root of the problem does that make sense um others of you you know i mentioned phlegm phlegm and uh i do feel that you need to take better care of your health if you're doing things, if you're consciously doing things that are not good for your health, it's a really good time for you to make a change. It's a good time for you to, you know, cut back on whatever um, you're putting in your body. Unhealthy food, drugs, alcohol, and I do especially see smoking, okay? Nicotine, um, other stuff. So just, you know, be conscious about that, okay? Because I feel like you're putting things in your body, your body can't handle it. All right. And it might mess up with your sleep cycle for women out there. It might mess up with your menstrual cycle. And then for others out there, it, it's really going to make you feel very, very anxious and very emotionally up and down. Like one minute you're just flying high, feeling invincible. And the next minute you're feeling very depressed and just uh, sad for whatever reason. So minimize the chemical intake in whatever capacity you're dealing with this minimize the chemical intake so that you can have balance i feel many of you are functioning on very 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 little sleep and that's uh dangerous to me um as air signs our minds are constantly overactive and i feel like one of the things that we absolutely need to get plenty of is a lot of sleep so that your mind can recharge otherwise you end up making very very bad decisions otherwise you might you know think back the last time you were very sleep deprived what happened did you say something that made a situation very embarrassing 
So think back about that and, you know, getting enough sleep rather than, you know, running on adrenaline. That's going to be very crucial, okay? Um, you show up here as the magician in your communication sector. So that means you have a lot of sway, a lot of influence, a lot of charisma, and a lot of power with the things that you say. People will, will kind of like, you know, um, hang on your every word. People will take what you say, dissect it, or, you know, they, you have a lot of sway, a lot of uh, power to change and manipulate and, and, you know, move things the way that you want or to present situations in the way that you want. Make sure that you're operating on the more enlightened side of this magician, okay? And um, I also feel as well, there is going to be, uh, they're, they're saying in the past, you might have been solicited for a few income generating um, opportunities. You might have turned them down at the time because you were so busy, you never checked the emails, you never responded, you never took the time. And so this is a good um, two weeks for you to try to sift through those emails and, and, and figure out like, are these things still viable? Should I, should I you know, revisit this or, or is this gonna I feel like there are going to be opportunities that the first time you might have missed because you weren't at the right place, you weren't mentally prepared, or you were dealing with a lot of things, and now they're coming back for a second round so that you can revisit it. And I do see new contracts being signed, okay? I also feel some of you are thinking about starting business with a lover, like a relationship partner, a spouse, significant other, or somebody that you're partnering up with. And I feel like, you know, you're going to sign a business proposal, a business partnership, sign on the dotted line and go into business with another person. But at the same time, um, the major thing here is take care of yourself, take care of those practical responsibilities because they are piling up. You might be distracted with a lot going on in your life and things that, you know, I just feel like. Gemini's you guys don't like to clean you know you you guys like you, you're okay with the messy home you're okay with a lot of clutter but all of these things they 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 accumulate energy they take on energies of their own and I just feel overall it's the the baggage but also the dust and the the pollen and the you know possibly mold that can build on top of it and you need to be careful about it for your own well-being for your family members well-being I do see some major turnaround when it comes to the home life okay things are gonna be whipped into shape so you might have somebody out an outsider coming in in order to help you with these home responsibilities I feel like for some of you it could be like a mother um, if you have like a retired mom and she's like, you seem to need help, let me go and help you clean or let me go and help you cook. So that's coming in. And then for others, I feel like there is a more routinized, like a routine coming in in order for you to take care of these responsibilities. It's coming in from another person telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to get it done in this um, time frame. And so you're kind of sitting down with another person, hashing things out. I'm going to do this. You're going to do that. I'm going to uh, take care of this. You take care of that. And we reconvene at a different date when all of our responsibilities are taken care of so that we can decide on the next step. There is a big energy here about business partnerships. It looks good. There's also big energies here about decluttering, cleaning the house, and it's going to be, it's going to do wonders for you. I mentioned for the Aquarius people, when their desk their office, their room, their home is messy. They can't think. They lack mental clarity. They're, they spin in circles and they can feel energy attacks. I'm seeing it for you guys right now. And, you know, try to stay on the forefront of that. Okay. So I'll be back for the November reading. I hope the um, this is helpful for some of you watching this. Obviously, it's not going to apply to everybody, but I feel the energy is coming out very strongly. So hopefully it's applicable so that you can make a change. Okay. You have a lot of tremendous money, finance, success coming through. And I feel like, you know, practical responsibilities are being brushed to the side. And that's not a smart move, okay? Take care of yourself here, Geminis. I'll be back for the November reading, okay? Bye-bye.